Hello, my name is Jonas. I am the director of I Am William. I come from a family where cinema was a big part of my childhood, so I saw a lot of movies when I was a kid. Movies, Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin, but also all kind of movies from different parts of the world, even Indian movies. My whole childhood, there was a lot of cinema. Now, uh, you actually have cameras on telephones and you can make your own movies on the camera and you can edit it, you can create sound, you can do almost everything I do as a professional, you can do on a, on a telephone. So I hope you will create your own movies. And if I should come with one good suggestion about what the story should be about, I think that something that is really, really bad in your life, that makes you sad or something that you dream about which is good that's two good subjects to create small films about about I am William I was very lucky that the writer uh, Kim Fuchs Okerson wrote a fantastic script for the movie uh, the script is like the whole story with dialogue and everything. So when I read his script, I knew that this could be a very, very special film. I felt a lot for character of William, who has a difficult life. His father is dead and his mother is in a mental institution. And he has to live with his uncle. His uncle Nils has some positive sides also. Um, he wants to take care of William, but he's not very good at it. Um, he is, he's a person who also has some very, very bad sides. Um, he constantly swear about homosexuals. He talks bad about uh, William's mother and William have to live with this and it's difficult for all kids to live with something as difficult as that. Normally I would say that adults has to fix the problems. If you realize that something is very bad in your life, that some adults are treating you bad, um, it could be your parents, it could be at the work, it could be school teachers. I think you have to stand up for yourself. It is difficult, I know, but you have to do it. I think the world needs that a lot of kids stand up for themselves. Uh, great inspiration in my life is Greta Thunberg which I think you have heard about, who is very strong voice in environmental issues. She's a strong voice and she proves that kids can make a change. So I hope that you will make a change in your life. When I did the casting for I Am William, I think we had about 1,000 young actors, kids for William's part and for uh, Viola's part. We took them in for casting and if I liked them, we invited them in again for another casting. And I think both Amina, who plays Viola, and Alexander, who plays William, I think they were to something like eight or nine castings. They were both very natural in front of the camera. They were easy to work with, which means that when I told them an idea I wanted to try, then they tried to do this idea uh, and they did it very good. And then I spent a lot of time, like two and a half months, 
before the shooting of the film together with especially Alexander who was William and my assistant Oliver who was very good with directing kids as well. We did rehearsals on each scene. Uh, Alexander never got the script for the movie. He, he, we, we gave, we told him what the words were, and then he learned because he had a crazy brain. He could learn the whole script, and the reason why I didn't want him to have the script was because um, that I was afraid that it would sound like when you read something when you say your lines so instead of him reading the lines um i wanted him to learn the lines by heart so in this two and a half months before the shooting he learned the whole script and actually he also learned the lines of the other actors so when the other actors couldn't remember their line then alexander always could uh, learn the line Another thing we did when we did the shooting, because it was my first experience working with kids, is normally when you do a film, there's a lot of candy on the set, uh, sweets and all kind of nice things. And I said, we can't have that because Alexander has to perform like eight hours, nine hours a day. And if he gets a lot of candy, then he gets very fresh and then he gets very tired afterwards. So, so there was no candy on, on the film set. And he was very good at relaxing when he was not on. He was on most of the time, but when he was not on, he was very good at relaxing, reading books, sleeping, um, or playing a game on his computer, so he was fresh whenever we needed to shoot him. In Denmark, we have a fantastic tradition for children's movie, and I, I think some of the characters, some of the stories from when I was a kid I, is a part of me today. Um, I think children movies can give hope um, to kids and hopefully influence how they see the world, what is important and what is not important. And, and I hope that I Am Willem will be part of this tradition in Denmark and also in India. And I hope that uh, young people will be inspired of the story and inspired of William's ability to say, no, this is not okay. And talk to uh, grown-ups and tell them what is right and what is wrong. My favorite children this movie is, and I must say, as I said earlier, that I saw a lot of Chaplin and, and Buster Keaton, and I love those movies. I saw them in cinema, which is very important because it's not the same to see on a television set, but to see it in cinema is fantastic. But my all-time favorite movie is a French movie called The Red Balloon. Um, it's about a boy who becomes friend with the most red balloon you will ever see in your life. And it's a very sweet and strong story. And I hope you get a chance to see it, the red balloon. So thank you here from me. Hope you enjoyed the movie and bye bye.